The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is part four in our continuing adventures. We are now at the Fire Temple. Um, well, the Dundongo Cavern, basically. But uh, basically, we went to see the Gorons, and now we are actually doing this uh, to get the second spiritual stone. And uh, so that's where we're at. So without further ado, I've got my uh, trusty controller here. We're playing on the Nintendo Switch using their virtual software or their emulator. And uh, so here we go. All right, so we're here. And once again, Navi is letting us know something quite obvious. But yes, there's uh, basically uh, lava down there that we need to watch out for. Thank you very much. Watch out for the Beemos there. See what we can do with this bomb flower. Oh, good job, Eric. Okay, <laughs> like I said, it's been a little while. <laughs> All right, here we go. I didn't mean to throw it there. We got the dungeon map. It's a good way to start. And you can throw a bomb flower at these guys. Uh, most of the time I just avoid them. I think this guy wants to sell me... I forgot. Is it sticks? Is it... Oh, you know what? Yeah, it's a Deku shield. Which I don't need yet. Of course, if I'm not careful, the fire bats will... Destroy my Deku shield, and then basically, I'll need to get another one. So let's. Uh, I need to be careful with that. Kill the kill them before they uh, take care of my shield. I could switch to the Hylian shield, which of course is fireproof. So that is one thought. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Took care of him. And I believe down here. Alright, alright. That's what I thought. I knew only one was uh, what we wanted there. So let's grab this. Open up this door. This will eventually give us access to the second level of the, of the dungeon. So there we go. You gotta love these guys. Basically, I just avoid them. It's just not too difficult to do. And I say that, and then I get whacked out right away. Alright, so ba basically, here's the gist. If you haven't done this before, you need to grab one of these statues. That switch, you can stand on it, but it needs to be held down by something heavy. Well, guess what's heavy? The statue is. And once the switch is held down, the bars will release so we can go through this door. Now, there is a door over here. Man, I shouldn't even bother with it right now. However... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't bother with it right now. Okay. Moving on. I can I can easily come back when I get the bomb bag. I can actually carry my own bombs with me. Bats on the walls. You. Through the door we go. Alright. 
Oh, yes. These guys. Come on, who's first? There's two of them. Uh, there they go. Alright, the other one should step up in just a moment. Come and attack me. Come on, dude. I'll meet you over here. Come on, dude. He knows I'm doing the forward swipe with my sword. It's much more uh, effective and powerful than, the, than just the slash. You press the A button for that one, not the B button. So I'm locked on. Okay, not my best showing. Not my best showing there. I got kind of sloppy, but you know, that's what I get. Sometimes I'm a little too hasty with my movements. Let's see if I can find a heart in one of these. There we go, thank you. Am I going the wrong way? Yep, I'm going the wrong way. Here we go, let's go the other way. There's two rooms that are similar. Uh, this is the first one of the two. But had I not gone that, gone that other way looking for hearts inside the vases, uh, the pots, then um, I wouldn't have gotten turned around. Here we go. Moving on. Alright, so there's a door that we can bomb. One of these doors has a, um, a Skulltella and a, what is it? I'm trying to remember everything that's in these doors. Oh, here we go again. Yep. Uh, no, okay. It looks like I bought them. Alright, so that's what I had. Being hasty. As an ent would say. Don't be hasty. Alright, so moving on, let's check the. Oh, yeah, these guys. Alright, this is the one where we need to light the torches using the flame. And there's the flame, which means we're gonna need a Deku stick. Using the Sneaker Stick. Wrong button. Here we go. I need to light all these torches along the way. There's one, two, and three. The third one opens up the bars, which opens up the door. Put that away so it doesn't burn away. This brings us out to a platform we could not reach before. A switch that opens up the door on the opposite side of this main chamber. And you saw me. We're going to run for it. Is there a ladder over there? Yeah, there's a ladder. There we go. Parts of this actually have ladders, so you don't have to use the rising platforms the whole time. Here we go. This gets us to the second floor chamber. There's another thing you can do first here. I uh, threw it again. That's what I get. You have to actually come to a complete stop, wait for your blue button to say drop, instead of the run and throw. Ah, yes. There's a couple ways you can do this. That's one way. Took a little 
damage, but it is the most expedient way to get rid of that guy. Uh, and you, so you can aim and throw it and that kind of thing, or place it down, hoping he'll land on it, or just let him run into you, blow the bomb up, and then he goes up. And that gets us our compass. So now we have both map and compass for the dungeon. So this next part is simple enough. You grab a bomb, place it right between these two, which then ignites all the other bombs, dropping a staircase. My controller is rumbling madly at the moment. There we go. I love the, uh, of course, the little sounds and the effort with which uh, Link must make just to ascend these stairs. It's it's almost humorous. A little annoying. It takes a little while, but um, oh, that ruby was a 20 piece, I believe. So anyway, um, yeah, the, the little guy, uh, he's not very big yet, is he? All right, so there's two. What's great is when these guys are up on a wall, one hit with your slingshot takes him out. I believe these guys still take two. Both a regular and a gold skull tower. Or a spider, whatever you want to call it. And there we go. Is that 12? Yep. All right, very good. Now we can go through here. We are on the second floor now. And let's see. Oh, yes, this room. Okay, and remember I mentioned the fire keys earlier, or fire bats. Do not want them to burn up my shield, so I'm going to take these suckers out. Let's see if I can tag them from across the mist. Not always successful there, but give it another try. Oh, yeah. here we go. Let's try this again. This should get closer, but... Alright. Yeah, it just ticked him off. And I lost my shield. What did I say? <laughs> I did it, didn't I? Oh, excellent job. Um... Well, might as well. I'm gonna go grab my Hylian. So at least I have something on, even though it doesn't help with a lot of things. Okay. I can't believe I just let that happen. Like I said, it's been a while. I'm just excited to play, but you know. I am really, really doing a good job. Here. My goodness. I, uh, really doing a good job. Alright, here we go. Cross the bridge. Oh, I cannot. This is really my day, isn't it? Oh my good. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I never claimed to be perfect. Alright, so now we need to ascend the stairs once again. They are still dropped, of course. Of course, I, I do wonder if... I can't, I can't remember if that guy, uh, the little shrub dude that sells the DC shield, if he is, um... If he regenerates or not. I kind of think no, but I could be wrong there. There might be something that actually, uh... And, of course, the keys are back. Fun! But I believe the door is already open. There we go. And this time I'll try not to be a complete moron and fall off the bridge. But again, no promises, right? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Though. 
Oh, I've never, never, never liked this room. In this room, you will know what's around the corner if you press these narrow paths, use a Z-targeting, which is true. I mean, that is a useful technique. Um, what you can do is you can face a wall, Z-target against it, and you can get a view of what's there without running into the sling, just like I did just then. Yeah, I believe there's something down here. Yeah, I'm hurt. Okay. Um... I've never cared for this little part, little puzzle, if you will. Uh, it's not really a puzzle as it is. You have to um, throw a bomb. I don't know why it always eludes me doing it correctly. Of course, given my success that you've seen today. Yeah, see what I mean? Uh, you're probably not surprised. But um, you have to throw it at just the right place. And you know, it's not like I've ever really memorized and almost got it. Um, you want it to land right on that little edge above where the ladder is. And missed again. Normally I don't have an audience for my complete ineptitude and lack of ability here. But uh, now I do, so I hope you guys are really enjoying this. Okay. <laughs> we should make a blooper reel. Yeah, that, it's only fitting. Here, let's give this another try. Alright, here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're all in. And I say the word enjoy. I say that with all uh, tongue and cheek facetiousness here. Uh, okay, let's give this another try. Wow. Wow, really, really doing a great job today. Like I said, I've always had trouble with this. I don't know why. It's embarrassing. Oh, oh my goodness, I did it again. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, now I've really done it. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Okay, let's try this again. See, I, I could... There we go. I could edit this and make it look like I did it, but I'm not going to do that. I want you guys to have the real experience of my inability to do something correct. Uh, you're getting it. This is it, firsthand. All right, so basically, see the eye? Treat it with your slingshot. You can run across. It gets a little more challenging, and that pretty soon you will see a room with oops, two of those. And you have to quickly turn and, uh, yay, I don't have a shield anymore. Always great. Not having a shield. Alright. The other guy should be coming for me in just a moment. I need a, I need a shield. I really need a shield. Somewhere, there are some parts in this room, and I really would like to find them. Oh yeah, they're over there. I'm gonna die soon. What did I say? Remember, in part two, uh, we got the fairy in the bottle. That's why we have it. That's exactly why we have it, right there. And he leaves behind one ruby. Oh, that's some good stuff. All right. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm a better player than him. <laughs> See ya, dude. Alright. How am I doing? Two hearts? I'm gonna go for it. I, I could go out there on that ledge. Given my track record today, I'm not doing that. Alright, here we go. I've never cared for this temple. It's funny. 
the actually the, the temple set are a lot more difficult. I can do a lot. It's like I've just uh, my brain has stopped me from memorizing this temple with the accuracy in which I've memorized the other temples. I know, sad but true, but it's true. All right, so here, run across here. There's a chest right here. And you want to stay up here for now. Don't jump down there. After you beat the two uh, lizard dudes, after you do the, uh, yep, yeah, there's my bomb bag. All right, so now we can actually carry bombs and we don't have to go and pick up bomb flowers to blow stuff up. So that, you gotta love that, that's the best. Also, we come out here, hit the switch. This now gives us quick access elevator to the second level, right there. Which is pretty cool. And it's giving us a hint right there as well as to, um, trying to remember, is there a ladder right here? No, sorry, right, we are not going down there yet then. I don't believe there's a ladder and I do not want to retrace all those steps. So over here, now that we have a bomb bag, it shows up in our inventory right here. I like to put the bomb bag here because um, I think of it as dropping bombs, so therefore I like it on the, just have my mental note on that, what makes sense in my, my brain. Uh, I drop bombs, therefore I want it on my bottom C button. So if you step right next to the edge right here, pick up a bomb and drop it, it makes the eye glow. And we need to do the same on the other side. That is basically a key which allows us to open up the mouth, giving us access to the boss door of, of this dungeon. See, I just did my roll there to uh, not get hurt from that jump, that long, long fall. Uh, let's see, wait, he's on the other side, isn't he? If he's even there still. I want to see if he's there. I don't need it though. This boss actually requires you to have the Hylian shield. Yeah, he is back. Okay. Alright, so he's back. Alright. I'm not sure when and how he regenerates, but he does. Or respawns. But he has respawned. And I'm going to respond ha, by a uh, horrible joke. Uh, by going and buying a, a shield from him. Even though I don't need it now, I might as well get one while I'm here. Excuse me, sir. Let's go talk to this dude. Oh. Guess this might be difficult. You can shoot him with a uh, slingshot. If you don't have the Deku shield to send the seed back to him. And I just bought it. All right, good. So now we have a Deku shield once again. However, like I said, and man, I need some hearts. Uh, like I said, we um, we only need the Hylian shield for this fu final boss battle. Um, because the and I really need some hearts. I'm trying to think where I can get some. Probably in the dust. In the boss, the boss, in the boss dungeon. Oh, we're not there yet. I forgot this part. Like I said, it's been a while. Um, I'm so confident about this game that, of course. Okay, and speaking of. I play this so many times. Again, nothing's memorized. I do it all by uh, by memory, which you know you're thinking maybe you shouldn't. Uh, oh, you jerk! Get up here. But um, point is, it's um, it's been a while, so. I'm just excited to play this again. I like to play it every few months or every year or so. That 
That's some, that's some good stuff. That's that's my fault. Ha! Gee. Okay. So. At least we're back up to three now. Like I said, you're getting the uncut, unedited version of this. I really think you will see. And uh, my pleasure to bring them to you. All right. So we're going to go this way. Oh, you stay away from me. What you want to do is precisely what I just did. Okay, oh! That, my friends, is a fairy. And we can capture it in this bottle. And now we have a fairy once again. So that'll come in handy, of course, when I inevitably mess up again. Uh, that, that will come in handy, ha! Huh. All right, so now that we also have bombs, in our bomb bag, I can drop one here, open up the store. Hello there. And since I have my objective, I'm just leaving. I don't need to stick around and fight that dude. Alright. Oh, darn it, the brick is back. Alright. That's always fun. Right. So we're gonna come up here on the wall again. What we did before. This is our way to get up and over and out of this room. Before the keys gets us. No hearts? Hey, thanks a lot. Oh, and man, this is where I wish I had that second bottle. There you are. Come here. Come on. Oh, would you stop going in walls? I just love the little, uh... Get back here. Come on, get back here. I'll take it. I was hoping that fairy, and I love just how the fairies can go straight through solid object walls and everything. Kind of ridiculous, but it happens. All right, and now I just got bombs for the first time. So basically, when we entered this this room a moment ago, there was a hole in the floor, a square hole, um, if you will, a one that could easily fit a cube. <laughs> Where are you? Thank you. And what we wanted to do is, after we made our way all the way around that section, We went through all of that so we can get on the upper ledge once again, kind of like in the main room, which allowed us to drop this brick to the floor and to push and pull it into place, thus activating a switch, raising the bars on this door, giving us access to the next section of the dungeon. That's the gist. I hear it, so here we go. Now, this, this is kind of obvious. Basically, we come in here. There is a... Thank you. That's a hint, too. They're just telling you, oh, you're going to need bombs for this. There's this dark patch on the floor. It is bombable. 
We blew that up, dropped down, and enter into the boss section of this dungeon. Here he comes. enough and stunned enough to where you can actually use your sword. Uh, forward slash is optimal there to get extra damage other than just a regular slash, but targeting him is really important, as with most bosses and enemies. Once you do that, forward slash, it really only takes three four swipes tops, and then, uh, as you can see, he becomes basically a crusty thing on the floor, but, like most bosses do, gives up a container, which will now increase our energy to five, giving us an extra one. Once we do that, we do what we always do, grab in the, uh, the portal to let us ascend out of the dungeon, which brings us back to the dewy slopes of Death Mountain and our new best friend, King of the Gorons. Darunya, well done! Thanks to you, we could once again eat the delicious rocks from Dadango's cavern until our stomachs burst. Well, that sounds painful. What a wild adventure! It'll make for an incredible story! I can't believe that Dadango's suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave? All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's it about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. And this is how we get the second spiritual stone. spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he meant by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? 
You should go see the great fairy atop Death Mountain. She will power you up. Which is true. Hey, everybody. Let's see off our brother. There are three or four, at least, uh, great fairies throughout this game. Just as there are three or four in um, both Breath of the Wild and, and Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, which also power you up, and those are mainly used, of course, for armor, empowering up armor. So, um, anyway, there we go. That was it. So what we can do now, we have bomb flowers. This passageway was actually, um, closed off to, to us before. There's a couple ways to get here. You can throw this, or you can jump with it. Almost. And almost. There we go. Um... Timing has not been my forte today. All right, so as you can tell, I'm a real maestro when it comes to uh, throwing bombs. Uh, big knot there. All right. By the way, yeah, you can blow up this rock and get to an underground section here. Basically, some money and heart grab, and there's also a cow here as well. There is a way to. Um, play a song for the cow and have them fill up your uh, bottle with milk. So this is a little bit uh, tedious, dangerous, getting up to Death Mountain. It's still an active volcano. This is where the Hylian shield, as they said earlier in the game, which I believe we saw in part three, uh, is really crucial to getting to the top. Rocks are falling down from the act of volcano erupting. After that section, there's a section where you have to climb the wall. You do want to kill the spiders first. As with any wall that has these on here. The forest temple is uh, loaded up with them, as you're well known if you've played the game. If not, yes, it is. And that takes care of those two. Up at the top here, the uh, without bombs you couldn't do this, but now that we have them, and once again, genius move, I threw it instead of placing it down. Alright, so we place this here, opens up what is the Great Fairy Fountain on top of Death Mountain, and remember what we said in part two, I believe, but anyway, earlier in the game, um, we go to our sub screen, activate our ocarina. We play Zelda's lullaby when we see the uh, Triforce on the ground. Which is left up right, left up right. And here comes our scantily clad. Which really hasn't changed all the way up to tears, has it? Uh, in Tears of the Kingdom, they're still similar to this. And how they dress and, and act. Um, welcome, Link. I'm the Great Fairy of Power. I'm going to teach you a sword technique. Receive it now. Spin attack. I was really tempted to do spin attack earlier with the lizards, but then I'm like, oh yeah, can't do that yet. 
Now that we visited her, we can do it though. You hold down B, it charges up your sword and you can let out a really ferocious uh, quick s or spin. Another way to do it is to uh, circle your uh, analog stick and uh, and then press uh, B and to release it. Now, um, next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop by and my friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. That's right, there's another one by Hyrule Castle, and she'll give you another power. So, um, and then basically this also gives us our magic meter, and which will be useful in several different things. So, we have now have this green bar, and if we hold down B, that's a spin, that's a spin attack right there. So basically, if we talk to this guy... Just responding to a uh, text here. <laughs> life, uh, life happens. Uh, hoot hoot, well it looks like you've grown up a little from the fairy's power, but you still don't really look like a hero who will save Hyrule. Once again, commenting on how small and young we are, at least not yet. If you're gonna go back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come and grab onto my talons. So that's actually, this guy will actually do that. You can, uh, if you're carefully kind of press your stick right after he starts to take flight there, he's gonna... Alright, the lovely owl drops us off in Kakariko Village. Do not jump off the roof just yet. Walk to your right, and there is a platform on which we can fall down that we have access to only by doing that for now. Um, and guess what? This is how you can access a piece of heart. A piece that you couldn't get any other way. This is how you get it. Lovely little prize. And what we're going to do is next time, I'm going to uh, start by collecting her chickens to get our second bottle. That way we can carry more than one fairy and... Um, and then we're going to get the third spiritual stone, which I believe is the water one. So we're going to go on to Lord Jabu Jabu and save Princess Rudo um, and get our third bottle, in fact. Uh, so, that's a little spoilers for next time, but guys, thank you so much for joining me. This is Loud Boy, and again, enjoying Ocarina of Time. Uh, your unedited, uncut, full of flaws version, but hey, uh, aren't we all though, right? Nobody's perfect. Listen, until next time, God loves you. I love you guys. Uh, let's all pray for each other. Be kind, be loving, and, um, and pray for our world. There's a lot of dark stuff happening right now. So anyway, remember, God loves you guys, and I wish you the best. And until next time, you guys take care. Thanks a lot.